Uh, interesting news. I just actually read the news this morning. Uh, Japanese, mm-hmm. I think Japanese billionaire has opened up seven seats to go to to go to the moon with Elon Musk. Seven seats. He's paying for everything. All you got to do is give your name, your email, a picture of yourself, and what social media accounts you follow of his. Of Elon Musk or, or, or of the Japanese, I, I, I want to get his name, but it, it's kind of hard to pronounce, but Japanese billionaire. So in, in two, apparently in 2017, he bought eight tickets worth quite a lot of money to wow. go to a round trip to, uh, to not to Mars, to, to the moon. And so his original plan was to give it to artists of various kinds from around the world. And then for some reason, he decided not to do that. And now he's opening it up to the general public. So like anybody, this- literally anybody can go. I think you need to be a certain age, probably 18 or something like that. But literally anyone can go. You can write your, you just got to put your name, your email, <laughs> uh, send a picture of yourself. And is this, in- a, is this a contest or? No, he's picking. I think he's picking. Well, there's going to be initial like screening, obviously, because you got to go through the medical. You got to see if you're actually fit to go into space. Ah, but it's it's right. open it's open for literally anyone and i was like that's that's that's, that's gonna... interesting to see how many people like how are they going to screen that many people like obviously you're going to 2023 is the debt like the starship remember the rocket that blew up elon's little rocket that blew up a yeah. while ago yeah. yeah so once he gets that fix which is estimated 2023 it's going to take three days to get to the moon, one day to revolve around the moon, and then three days back. What if you're like on that shit that it It's the first up. one. It's the first one. It's the first, <laughs> first eight people to get to go to a commercial space flight. Would you do it? Would you do it? Really? <laughs> That's tough. I think I'd have to see other people do it first. You wouldn't be the first. You wouldn't be the first eight. The first eight people ever to be in commercial space flight. Yeah, I mean, that does sound cool, but <laughs> I mean, I don't know. At the same time, I think it'd still be cool to just be the second, the second group. The second group. Yeah. But then you most likely have to pay for it. This is, this is free. Ah, that's a good point. That's a yeah. Good point. So it's a free trip, free round trip. Uh, it, it brings up an interesting conversation. Like, when is this going to be the new normal? Like, you know, the normal right now is what you can hop on a plane and go to like Hawaii or somewhere, right? That's that we consider that to be normal. When is it going to be normal? They, hey, I'm just going to take a round trip around the moon and I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> like that's your go-to vacation. Now? That's like, your vacation. Yo. I'm headed to Hawaii on the moon. Like, <laughs> I don't think they're landing. It's just orbiting, orbiting around them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They're not landing on the moon, but. When, when is that going to be cool. like, when is that going to be the normal and just be like, yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Right. Would you move to Mars? No. Uh, no? Um, I mean, if, if we're all going, I'd go. <laughs> <laughs> if the boys are going, I'm going. If the boys are going. <laughs> Comes back to the idea of... Uh, when my mom asks if your friends jump in a well, are you gonna jump? Of course, those are my boys, man. Come on. <laughs> if the boys are going to Mars, yeah. <laughs> we got a text from Matt. You're like, yo, you guys pulling up to Mars or what? You got that gas money? I'll be there. You got that gas money. 